All right, so I've made my script that does all the odd numbers, but it's, you know, it's really long. And obviously, if I wanted to keep going with those odd numbers, I would just do copy more or duplicate more of these blocks. But then it gets sort of a bit clumsy. Now, good coders are, are efficient. They try and do the most work with the minimum lines as possible. And we know from our work with spreadsheets is that this is simply a pattern that starts at a particular number and then adds to each time. And you can just repeating that, repeating that, repeating that uh, until you are finished. So I'm going to use a few new blocks. I'm still going to have a start. And in this, in this occasion, rather than this, I might just keep it as when the space bar starts. I'm now going to have a variable. Okay, I'm going to uh, first of all set my variable and I'm going to um, make my variable and I'm going to call it odd. This is going to be the odd variable. Okay, so I set instead of my variable, it's my odd variable, and the first odd number is one. Okay, that's where the first odd number starts. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that odd number by 2 because that is what the pattern is. Okay, now if I run that script, uh, sorry, I need to um, first of all get my sprite to say um, what that variable is. So instead of saying hello, he is going to say the odd variable. I just drag that in and drop that in and I'll change that. Uh, one second so hopefully now yeah he's saying one but notice it's not changing because I need to include another block and that's a repeat so I want to keep changing the odd number by two repeating 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 and when I go down to the control I've got a number of these uh, loops or repeats and so I could put in this one here repeat 10 and I want to um, repeat what's inside the brackets, in this case, 10 times. So let's see what that looks like now. So hopefully you can see that the number is just repeating 10 times. And look how few lines of code that I've, I've used. Instead of all these lines of code, all these blocks, I've just used these five. So the power of this type of programming comes from using variables, the orange blocks, and the repeat blocks, the loops. I could actually get that to repeat a hundred times. All right, I don't need to do anything. I haven't had to copy and paste lots and lots of uh, blocks of code. Using my coding knowledge, my knowledge of algebra, I've now got a program that's just going to keep ticking up those odd numbers.